Alright guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about the Apple Lightning to Digital AV HDMI adapter. Now I'm going to showcase to you how to use it and also what to use it for, so let's dive in. So you have a HDMI port there but you also have a lightning port. To use it you can't just use the HDMI port, it needs to have a power coming into the actual adapter using the lightning port cable as well. So let me go ahead and showcase to you guys why I would use this and how to set it up. So now that I've connected the HDMI cable and a 2 meter lightning to USB cable there, I can just connect it to my iPhone. There is a compatibility list, so I'll leave a link down below where you can buy this so you can check out the compatibility list. All I have to do is connect it. The HDMI cable is connected to that little monitor back there. You can see it's now started to mirror the screen. So you can see I'm just scrolling through. It's pretty responsive. It's almost instantaneous. Now let's go ahead and see what I would specifically use it for. But before I do that, just to showcase to you guys, you can actually orientate it both ways as well. So you can view things in landscape, if you want to browse around and I'll showcase some other apps on how you would use this on a bigger monitor or even your TV. So let me showcase to you guys how to do that. Right so one of the use case is I've mounted my phone onto this overhead rig and I use this for my unboxing videos. So I have a box on the table and I'd like to record the video on top of it whilst also recording the main footage from a distance while the main camera is on a tripod at the back. Now this would make it much easier for me post editing so that I can switch between both footage rather than having to switch my camera and move it manually, mount it on top of the overhead rig and then mount it back on top of my tripod when I want to record different parts of the footage. So this makes things a lot easier. Now the key thing to remember is with this camera and the adapter, the camera opens in a single orientation so on the monitor I'm only able to see it in vertical view like that. But I can zoom in with my fingers on the actual phone just to adjust the view on the screen. Now this will save me a lot of time so that I can just start recording two things at the exact same time and I can just switch between them both. So that's one use case that I will really use this adapter for. So let's see what other use cases we have for it. All right guys, so I've now connected this to my LG monitor. Let's see what else we can do. I'm going to open up Netflix because I think this will be really great to take with you if you go to someone's house and you wanted to play something on a larger screen, another TV or anywhere you go. If you just open up a video, so let's say for example, I'll play Queen's Gambit. Now this is where you can change the orientation so it will play full screen. This then becomes a remote control on your iPhone, whereas the screen itself would be the actual video. And you can see it's playing very well. The speakers and the audio would then start to be outputted from the source that you've connected it to. So you need to make sure that there is inbuilt audio to wherever it's connected, whether it's a TV or an external monitor. And you can control this by skipping forward, like so. And it works flawlessly and the picture quality is absolutely amazing. It's pretty much as if you was going to open up Netflix on your laptop connected to the monitor or directly on your TV. It's almost as good as that. That's another use case. You can also use this to browse YouTube and play videos there. Again, with all of the other streaming services like Amazon Prime and Disney Plus and all that kind of stuff, it should work exactly the same way. If I go into YouTube, for example, let's go into one of my videos. So let's play this one. Automatically, I don't need to change the orientation of my phone. By default, YouTube will play in a full screen landscape mode. So for me, that is a quick instant connection. So wherever I go, all I need to do is just take this tiny little adapter with me and I will be able to connect it and play it with any TV in my friend's house, my other family member's house, or even when I go to an office, it's very convenient to do. So even if you have presentations on here for work purposes, you can connect to a monitor at work with this very easily. Although you do need to make sure you take your lightning cable with you as well because this adapter would need power going into it. So that's it guys, it's pretty straightforward. I'm very happy with this, it works out of the box. I did had no problems connecting it straight away. I do have the iPhone 12 Pro, so make sure you check the compatibility list down below. Other than that, if you have any other questions about this adapter, let me know. I hope you subscribe. I've got tons more really cool videos coming out like this in the very near future. Hope you like this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.